Yes. It's God's will what happens. Yes. And uh, we're expecting God to do whatever he does. There's a Senate election in Alabama tomorrow. Republican Roy Moore is a suspended state Supreme Court justice and suspected pedophile. Doug Jones is a Democrat and a former U.S. attorney. It's a big deal, but you wouldn't know it if you spent the weekend in Alabama that I spent. It's quiet around here. It snowed here, and it usually doesn't. It's Alabama, not Minnesota. So when the flakes started to fall, most people stayed home Friday and Saturday. But not Doug Jones. He imported an all-star cast of Democrats from the North to help him stump all over the state. His canvassers are everywhere Democrats need them to be this weekend. Roy Moore? He wasn't even here. Now, Roy Moore isn't doing any real campaigning today or tomorrow that we can see on the schedule, really. Is that, is that something we should worry about? Does that, does that matter, do you think? Roy think. is at the Army-Navy game today uh -huh. to see his son. So that's where he was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Moore's mostly avoided press and places where he might run into voters who might ask him awkward questions about those allegations. But he is talking to some people, namely people who like him a lot. He needs those folks to vote and in big numbers. Yeah. It's God's will what happens. Last night in Montgomery, he appeared at a Christmas party with some supporters. Conservative outlets like Breitbart were the only ones allowed to cover it. Here in Midland tonight, he's hosting a rally. Steve Bannon's on the guest list. More supporters are convinced he's gonna win. They say they've beaten back the allegations of pedophilia and that normalcy has returned to Alabama. Normalcy, of course, meaning that if a Republican's on the ballot, a Republican will win. So what do you think are the characteristics of a really, really good senator? These people are so sure of themselves that Moore's allies at Trump's super PAC actually released a video today of Moore being interviewed by a tween girl. So that's either confidence or the ballsiest thing I've ever seen. But last minute polling tells a different story from the one that Moore supporters want to tell. A Fox News poll of around 1,100 Alabama voters has Doug Jones with an astonishing 10-point lead today. The reason for that? An enthusiasm gap. Not surprisingly, Jones' support comes from non-white voters, younger voters, and voters who are women. He's the choice of non-white voters by 76 points. For voters under the age of 45, he's winning by 31 points. With women, he's up by 20 points. And that jumps to 46 points among women under the age of 45. Moore has a 20-point lead among whites. And for whites without a college degree, he's up 33 points. But more Democrats say they plan to vote for Jones than Republicans say they plan to vote for Moore. And 29% of Moore's supporters say they have reservations about their candidate, while just 13% of Jones' supporters say the same thing. But the more people I've been speaking with are still extremely confident. A source close to the campaign told me last night that their internal polling shows more up by between five and seven points. This is Alabama after all. And you don't need to look back very far, like say a year, to find a Republican candidate who's controversial with sexual harassment allegations over him, who voters weren't super thrilled about saying they wanted to vote for when pollsters asked. But if Jones does pull off this upset and more loses this thing, he might wish he spent more time campaigning this weekend and less time watching football.